So uh, the home play, like I said, you need to solve each equation. And number six will give you an equation. And then I want numbers two and four uh, with window notes. So our objective, our objective for today, I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equations. Read together, one, two, three. Bam. All right, so we're showing the same concept, so we don't need a Freire model. Don't draw a Freire model. We already know what one variable equations are, right? Do we know the steps? Tell your neighbor the four steps. Simplify, isolate, plot, Simplify, isolate, plot and check. We're still following the same, same process. So simplify, isolate, plot, and check. Um, let me just give you a, a list. Guys, focus. Since you're going to be working on window notes, let me just remind you of the properties that we've covered so far. We covered addition property of equality, subtraction property of equality, multiplication property of equality, division property of equality. That's for equations. What else have we covered? We covered the commutative, associative, and distributive properties. Is that correct? Yeah. From there, at the beginning of the year, we covered the zero product property. We covered exponents. Uh, the exponent properties, what, what are those? The product of powers, power of power, power of products. Remember that? Quotient of powers and power of quotients. And also we're missing one for zero pairs. What is that one called? The additive inverse property. Remember that? So those are the properties we covered so far, We and we're very starting the year. At the end, we're going to have a nice chunk of properties. But these are the properties that I need you guys to use when uh, getting your window notes done. Everybody understand? Yes, Mr. Q. All right, good. So <laughs> yesterday we practiced some of these. Yes? yes. Then this one, this one, yes. this one. Yes. We practice some of these with uh, with a division on one side, yes. and then this one. Okay. So today we are here. Copy this one. Example one. It says, example one. Solve and check your answer. Seven n minus two equals five n plus six. Copy that. Pens down, eyes up here. Here it goes. Now, the only difference now from what we've been doing, look up to the screen, is the fact that um, in order to simplify, we check the left side, we can't simplify over the right. But step two says to isolate, which means leave the variables by themselves or leave it by itself. But in this case, we have a variable on each side of the equation. Like scales, whatever we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So here, we're going to start with the variable. So we need to get all variables to one side. And from this point forward, I want you to start with the smallest variable. I'll tell your neighbor what I just said. So what is the smallest variable out of these two? 5n. So if this is a positive 5n, what is the inverse of a positive 5n? And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So watch. Look what happens. 2n minus 2 equals 6. Do we know what to do from there? Yep. Copy that, please, and finish it off. Go. All right. So let's see. From here, what do we do? We add 2, add 2. This cancels. We're left with 2n equals 8. And at the end, we divide by 2, divide by 2, n equals 4. Are we there? Yeah, right? Just the first step, which is start with the smallest variable, right? Let's check this. We write 7n minus 2 equals 5n plus 6. But instead of n, what are we going to substitute in there? 4. So anywhere where you see a variable, put a parenthesis and 4. Parentheses and 4. And from there, just bring everything else down. 7, the negative 2 equals 5 plus 6. So let's see. 7 times 4, that's 28. Minus 2 equals 20 plus 6. What is 28 minus 2? 26. What is 20 plus 6? 26. And that is true. How are we doing? Okay. All right. 
So now that we have the first step, do this next one by yourself. Example 1B, it says solve and check, 5B plus 2 equals 3B plus 8. Go. Copy that and, and solve. Edgar, help me out. What do I do first? Here, let me help you. There you go. Which is? And what do I do? Subtract 3B, subtract 3B. What does that leave us with? Then? And that leaves us with? And then at the end? What? Divide. Hands if you got that. Okay, and you did the check, right? Yes. All right, let's move on. Copy this one. We got 1C, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3Y equals 0 0.7Y minus 0 0.3. Copy that. You got 20 seconds. Go. On this one, you don't have to check. Just solve. All right. Let's see. How about, let me out with this one. Christopher. Yeah, go. Oh, hold on. Let me help you out. There you go. Minus 0 0.3y to both sides, and we're left with 0 equals 0 0.4y. Okay. 0 0.3 to both sides. Add. We're left with. Both by, pass it to someone. We're left with. Hands if you got that. That is incorrect. Check this out. Look, look up, please. If I'm going to divide this, it's 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.4. Is that correct? We get rid of the decimal here, get rid of the decimal here, so there is no longer an A0. So 4 into 8 is 2. Careful with those, please. Careful with the decimals. Guys, your attention really quick. Look up. If you're going to skip this step in, in regards to decimals, make sure you understand what you're looking at. This says 0 0.8. How many times does 0 0.4 fit into 0 0.8? How many times does it fit? Twice. That's how you look at it. Everybody see that? All right. We're done with the easy stuff. Let's continue. Uh, let's crank it up a notch. Here we go. Example 2. Copy this one. It's 2, open parentheses, 3A minus 1, close parentheses, equals to 3A plus 7. Let's do this one together. Line down the equal sign. Tell your neighbor the first step. Very good. It says simplify. So can we simplify this side? Yes, by distributing. 6A minus 2 equals 3A plus 7. And do you know what to do from there? Yes. Finish it off, please. 
All right, Sergio, help me out. What's the next step? Subtract 3A from both sides, and we're left with? Continue. We're left with? Continue. Let me ask you a question. Why is it that we continue doing the same thing to each side? I'm sorry? Why is it that in all of them, not only this one, in all of them we've been doing the same thing to each side all, all, all the way through? To keep them balanced. Damn. <laughs> all right. We got this? So notice all they're doing, they're just adding more steps. But what is the same process? The first step is to simplify each side. Everybody understand? So copy this one. Example 2B. Three parentheses, 2x minus 4, close parentheses, equals 4x plus 4. Copy that and solve. Go. All right. I'm going to go over this one just to uh, move on. This is 6x minus 12 equals 4x plus 4. So far, they're good. Minus 4x minus 4x. We're left with 2x minus 12 equals 4 plus 12 plus 12. 2x equals 16. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 8. And if you got that, okay, good. So, Copy this one. Example 2C. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the fraction. One half parentheses B plus 6 equals 3 halves B minus 1. Go. I'll give you guys on this one 27 seconds. Okay, volunteer for this one. Yes, sir. What'd you get? I got four equals B. You got four equals B. Hands if you got that. That is correct. Here it goes. Distribute. This is one half B plus three equals three halves B minus one. And so you got up to right there, okay? Smallest variable is one half b, so I subtract half of b, subtract half of b. We're left with three equals three halves minus one half is two halves, which is one b minus one. At the end, add one, add one, and that's how we get four equals b. We switch what? Be nice. Hey, let's move on. Copy this one, example three. It says 3x plus 15 minus 9 equals 2 parentheses x plus 2. Do this one together. Step one is to simplify. Look at the left side. Tell your what to do on the left side. Very good. Sydney, what do I do? Simplify how? Subtract 15 and 9, so therefore we're left with 3x plus. Six. You can't simplify that side, so therefore we go over here and we do what, everyone? Distribute 2x plus 4. From there, what do I do, everyone? Subtract 2x, subtract 2x. We're left with x plus 6 equals 4. And at the end, subtract 6. x equals negative 2.
So you see all they do is add a couple more steps to each side. That's that's all they're doing. Does everybody see that? Okay. So let's crank it up a notch. Here we go. Example three, copy this one. Uh no, not that one. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that one. Example three B. Example 3b is 4 minus 6a plus 4a equals negative 1 minus 5, parentheses 7, minus 2a. 4 minus 6a plus 4a equals negative 1 minus 5, open parentheses, 7 minus 2a, close parentheses. Copy that and solve, please. Go. Talk it over with your neighbors, see what they got, and I'll pick someone to help me out. All right, so let me help you out. There you go. What do I do from there? Which side? So what do I do? So that leaves us with? Negative 2a and bring down the 4. Can we simplify any more? No. What do I do on the right side? Shh. Negative 1 and. Okay, close. If we're following order of operation, we need to get rid of parentheses first, right? Distribute. We're left with negative 1, negative 35, plus 10a. From there, am I done simplifying this side? No. These two become negative 36 plus 10a. Bring down the 4 minus 2a. Now, which is the smallest variable? Negative 2a. So I add 2a, add 2a. We're left with 4 equals negative 36 plus 12a. I need to get rid of that 36. What do I do, everyone? <laughs> add 36. Add 36. We're left with 40 equals 12a. What do I do from there? Divide by 12. Divide by 12. We're left with 12 hits in there three times. We have how many left over? Four. That's four 12s. Can we simplify that? Yes, so therefore that becomes 3 and 1 third equals to A, or 3.3 .3 bar equals to A. Hands if you got that, okay, not bad. So, copy this one, please. Example 5. It says, it says, Example 5, a construction company charges $450 base plus 28 per hour. Another construction company charges 410 base plus 32 per hour. How long is a job for which the two companies' costs are the same? Copy that and then we'll go over it. Go. All right. So let's finish this one. Here we go. Before you put your stuff away. Here it goes. How many... How many companies or how many items are they talking about? How many items? Two. Therefore, you draw two lines down, one across. Since we don't have a name for the companies, we're labeling the first one company A, the other one company B, and right here we're going to write total. So here with blue, I'm going to start with the first one. How much do they charge per hour? 28. Do we know how many hours they're going to work? No. So you're going to write 28 what? X. X. However, they charge up front how much? So that's plus 450. Let's look at the second company. How much do they charge per hour? $32 per hour. How do we write that? 32X. And how much is the base? Plus 410. Now, here's a key word. Here for the total, it says, how long is the job for which the two companies' costs are what? What's another word for same? 
equal. So watch. This is what we're going to write over here. The first one is 28x plus 450, the same or equal to what? 32x plus 410. And then from there, you just solve this equation, and that's how you get your solution. Very simple. Have a good one, guys. If I don't see you in tutoring, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, once again, the home play was uh, six problems. Two and number four with window notes. Okay? Have a good one. Bye.